Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LZ Alpha. We've been here for about 443 days now, trying to make our way through comfort and glories into the future. And our latest project is to try and move our duplicates living space. At the moment, you can see that we are, we are duplicates, yes indeed, are living in this area over here. And that means that we're in the center. We need to kind of split our attention between two different sets of atmosphere dogs people can go in and out we end up with situations where we're not producing enough oxygen people end up there uh, standing around being idle so we're trying to make this whole brand new dormitory system over here now the thing that i want to do today involves bam this line of oxygen here it comes out of this whole little system that we have down here that's taking this salt water turning it into regular water turning that into oxygen and hydrogen whereupon we uh uh, deal with all those gases here and I want to move this gas line here I'm not actually gonna go ahead and uh, move it exactly right now we'll just prepare ourselves for the change in the future I'm gonna do a, a jump there and a jump there I need to try and figure out exactly where it is we're going to take this gas output so I want to kind of follow this line up here I believe if we carry on up we go past this section which I also want to do over at some point I want to rip down this um, this chlorine generator it's not actually a chlorine generator it's a, an oxygen and chlorine generator uh, rebuild this uh, salt farm somewhere else but I'm gonna bring an oxygen line in there I think I think that's the good place to do so uh, I'm gonna just go straight down like this come down to this line come across like this and down all right beautiful beautiful and this is the line that I'm going to put into place I think I'll even go across like this do we want to go in and up I think we will I think we will we can figure out exactly how to make that work now this is gonna take a while we've all seen uh, me put down huge great big long lines like this before and we know that it takes a little bit of time to get rolling but as it is going to take care of a uh, an item that we already have this salt water is going to flow down flow back flow into here okay that should work out for us that should work out hopefully it's going to end up putting the uh, salt water down below i'm a little confused to buy the electrolyzer here i can only assume it's where we got a bit of the ethanol down and some of the ethanol got in to these electrolyzers i'm wondering whether do we have do we have some salt water there? Is there like some ethanol in here anywhere? I'm wondering whether that has happened. Doesn't look like the ethanol actually managed to make it through, which is good. We should point out. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was just thought almost thought that I saw some there, but yeah, that's that's pretty good. All right. So we need to try and get these lines built. But the question that I've really got right now is, what are people actually doing? Okay. Missile line has come out of here. Let's get a click on here. Let's do the follow the follow cam, and she is actually going down to start doing that line digging. So I will see you guys in a moment when this is actually been finished or well really i say when this has been finished when we've actually figured out what the uh, duplicates are doing mild change of plan while i was thinking about it i'm actually going to build individual oxygen units for each of these ox of uh, each of these atmospheric suits over here so i've gone ahead and moved this line all the way over because i want to use the oxygen that comes out of this system as a flood system to move all of the gases out of here i'm a little un unsure about why this is saying it's an unreachable build we should totally be able to get people going past here because these are disabled buildings why will people not come over this way I'm going to do my usual trick of saying, hey, all this is super high priority. Let's find out why people aren't coming up this way. I mean, I would have thought that yeah, all of this is listed as unreachable build. Is there something wrong with the doors? I don't see any way of that being wrong with the doors. What about this door over here? No, it looks like everything's okay. Maybe it is literally just a case of they can't get through here. I don't know, maybe, maybe. I feel like we're missing a lot of oxygen, so I think what I might do is deconstruct this vent that I have, throwing a lot of the oxygen out to the atmosphere here. Uh, and if we can get rid of that, maybe more oxygen will pile into these, and then we get more oxygen for getting people out and doing stuff, because that would be pretty useful. Okay, after I got rid of that vent there, you can see we're getting a lot more oxygen coming down and into this system, so hopefully that's going to work out well for us. And uh, keep those duplicates moving outside, because getting them outside is definitely, you know, part and parcel of having a healthy lifestyle, right? Okay, here is a problem. Access restrictions, all right? Let's go and turn all these off. I've got a feeling I actually did this myself to try and keep people from using the bathrooms, but, well, we're here now, so let's use it. 
Oh, man, really? There's another neutronium thing here. Oh, wow, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Okay, so we're going to do this and this, and it looks like it's another tool one. Who knows what it's actually going to be? Uh, we will, of course, find out on our digging adventure here like that. That would be the best way of doing it. Oh, we're we're going to have some real troubles rooting this stuff around and making use of everything we want to make use of. This water geyser down here, definitely something I want to make use of. Perhaps even it will replace this uh, this hot water geyser. That said, this salt water geyser does erupt out at 95 degrees C, which is exactly the same temperature this erupts at. So uh, it's not going to save us anything other than the desalinator. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem down here. You can see this carbon skimmer is broken, but with the problem that we've got is that there's no oxygen coming in here because this uh, steam vent down over this side is a broken way. Well, it's dormant. Let's have a look. We've got 1.5 cycles. In fact, we probably want to open this door back up and start letting these guys get... Um Let's do that, in fact. Uh, get fertilized again. We turned that off so that we wouldn't have a freezing cold environment to start passing super hot water through because I was a little bit worried that we were going to end up with ice. But with that now disabled, we should be able to get one of our duplicates down towards this. I've turned this up to a high priority to hopefully get someone coming and fixing it. Anybody? No, no, nobody wants to fix it. It only requires some aluminium ore. Let's have a look and make sure we've not ran out of that. No, we are at 63 tons. It should be fine. <clears throat> right, and along comes Dr. Captain Subs to try and fix this. Hopefully he's going to have enough breath within him. Okay, beautiful. And wrong element. No, let's have a look. What's going on? Okay, here we go. We are actually getting some of that ethanol out of there. Mm, okay, no problem. Well, I mean, it's a little bit of a problem, but no major problem. We can definitely make use of that. With the fact that it is fixed that a little bit, that will be fine. I'm wondering, oh, wrong button, where this is going to end up. I'm going to go on a magical mystery tour and try and figure out exactly where this ends up, and I'll be with you uh, when when that uh, mystery is solved. Talking of mystery solved, is this ready yet? Still not quite there, but uh, those are all running great. The we the wheeze warts is what I was looking at. Those is a very bad descriptive term. Maybe I was a little quick to fire these wheeze warts back up. We're already down at like single digit uh, temperatures. That's not going to be great. These guys have also been trying to keep chill, but as you can see, they're, they're like all the way up at 50 still. I've got a feeling that's because this insulated layer hasn't been put in place. Should we... um? set up some dig orders to actually make that happen if we do that across there oh no what starvation get out of here we got like all the edible food 160,000 calories not not a chance mate what's going on misaligned is in the toilet that's she's too busy going to the toilet to eat oh man what this one isn't going what's wrong with it what's wrong with it f2 oh we just Literally missing a tiny little bit of wire here. I will do this. We're going to have a uh, lead wire, of course, because, you know, what would go wrong with lead wire? I'm going to go down into the floor for as all the others. Just reduce the amount of decor minuses that the wire brings. Hmm. Even with a full flow of oxygen coming into this system here, we can't quite deal with all of these suits. We're still trying to fill up this little oxygen bar here. I'll be interested to know whether this is something that we creep up on during the days. Uh, I, I hope so. I really do hope so. It looks like it might do. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing this has been filling up. Let's have a look over here. 33. A, a kilo at a time, though. That's not great. Uh, how is this too hot? Because this doesn't have enough power. Why does this now have enough power? Because we're out. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Thankfully, the cooling system... Oh, no, the cooling system's not working. Ah. So the problem is this down here. This has gone and got hot, hasn't it? Yeah, okay. So this is now making heat go into there. This, uh, this needs to be shut down somehow. This needs to be shut down somehow. Let's have a look. How can we do that? I mean, we could literally just break this, deconstruct, and that will, uh, that will, that will all organize our problem here for us. But we then need to figure out how to cool this down. Hmm. Okay, Shroud has come to save us. Hopefully now we can just kind of keep all the temperatures moving around and keep it relatively cool. Fingers crossed. Oh, Luna. Oh, you're in trouble, Luna. Uh, can we put this priority up here and hopefully you'll be able to run away? No, miss, what are you doing? Come and help your friend out. Oh, my God, that is awkward. Uh, Luna, we need you to actually move over here. Yeah, okay, all right, you've done it, you've done it, you're on it. Uh, just any of those need to be fixed as soon as possible because I do not want to see my girl Luna die due to, like, a hydrogen atmosphere. Just walking around being like, well, I can breathe it, but it doesn't seem to be doing me any work. All right, go, Luna, go. Get safe, get safe. Okay, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. That uh, that overheating down here, though, big problem that I'm not sure how we can get around. Okay, new plan. Let's get rid of this pipe here, and then we can try and cool this water down on our own at some point. 
Uh, hopefully the air cooling will get to this. That's that's my plan anyway. We'll we'll see what it does. Can I um have the insulated gas pipe, please? And we're just gonna speed the process up somewhat. Okay, Mimi actually ended up doing it. All right, cool, fair. I'm down. I am down. Now we're just gonna have to wait for these guys to uh, to try and fix all this lot up, and then hopefully the water will stop flowing, and we'll be able to keep it nice and cool, right? That that'll be something. As long as the water's stopped flowing from here, it should mean that we now have no water carrying on through because it's got nowhere to go. I'm a little confused by the fact that it's not blown through here, if you see, but uh, it's okay. That's fine. Okay, to attempt to put some sort of control on that, I'm going to put a shut-off valve there, and we're going to control it with this power over here. This is a, hey, only turn on if you find natural gas, and I think that is a great way to also power this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's a hydrogen vent. Very interesting, very interesting. Mad Frank coming along to do a bit of the extra work here. Nice, nice, nice. All about it, to be fair. Kind of was expecting people to get this pipe work done. You can see that we got one of the, the vents up top done. Uh, if I press the F6, uh, F7 even, we've got a lot of the pipes done. This should, hopefully, if I'm correct, all of the line of oxygen comes in along here, and then at this one, it splits in two. And then we have another split of two there and there. So it should get all of these four vents equally i'm hoping it's kind of like a binary tree right uh, apart from this this joint is in a weird place I should call it a node if I'm calling uh, invoking trees, right? Okay, this steam geyser comes into being active in a very short time now. It says next activity in 139, but I, uh, I've i got a feeling that's a little bit less. Oh, sorry, I was reading the temperature there, not the actual time. <laughs> uh, 44 seconds, 41 seconds. We are we are counting down here. It's going to be beautiful. Shroudica's coming along, letting a lot of this hydrogen out, actually. I didn't think about the uh, consequence of that. I, uh, I really should have thought harder about that, but there we go. This is where we are. This is the situation we find ourselves in i'd really like to uh, prioritize that and then the digging will happen at a slower priority hopefully i, I actually understand that miss herself will come along and do the digging much higher oh no go away go away oh she's gonna do it anyway isn't she uh he's gonna do it a much higher priority because uh, she likes to dig that is her love in life uh, she, she could get a shovel in her hand maybe even the dirt under her nails throwing handfuls of it over her shoulders as she try and clears out areas for other people to go and do their work oh beautiful there we go we got we got some steam running we've got some steam running it says now in 41 seconds but i'm fairly sure that's where it was at when when we clicked it like minutes minutes ago. Maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe I'm wrong. Next dormancy, 75 cycles. Good. Okay, temperature is climbing. I'm looking at this temperature sensor here. It needs to get up to a high enough temperature. At the same time, we also need to push in enough atmospheric gas here, uh, or steam as we call it, to condense these natural gas and oxygen down to single uh, single tiles. When that happens, these guys will be running slightly too hot, but that's good because they've actually got the little bit of gas to get in the way and make sure they don't run at full efficiency so they're not just turning it all into heat. Still waiting for this to kick over. I really thought we would have been there by now, start putting some extra water through. Unfortunately, the fact that this is here means that we are not actually going to get extra steam coming through. What, are the what is the temperature? 170. It's high enough to be uh, p uh, pushing into the steam vent. We're just waiting for that to, to condense down and I really thought that would have happened by now but it looks like maybe that's not the case we have got like 12 1.2 kilos here and we've only got 14 grams here why has this not condensed it did it last time doesn't look like it's going to do it this time though Nope, there we go. One of them has pushed through. We've got just a little bit going on there. That's beautiful. Okay, the natural gas has condensed down. Hopefully this will continue to go like this. If we have a look at the F6, this water should now be pumping around and about. But I've got a feeling the majority of it is actually going to end up just dumping straight into here to try and move the uh, the temperature down. That is a problem that we've got almost all the time, of course. Let's uh, pump this forward. Uh, because of the slight bit of lag between this turning on, this opening up, and all the temperatures evening out, uh, we're going to end up needing to pump a lot of water back down here to try and get it into a situation where we're not just instantly flashing everything into steam as you can see down here the insta steam is happening we've also got a little bit of water appearing down here every now and then that's interesting i had not noticed that i assume that is just a visual glitch okay here comes mad frank to do some digging up top as well i think we're now in a situation where we're all pretty well balanced i just want to watch this uh, current temperature drop down a little bit lower uh, and watch the water start to flow so that we can actually turn our atmospheric suit dock back on and get all that oxygen flowing because that that would be beautiful right 
Also, instantly into positive power. Nice. I love this setup over here. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's great. What energy do we have? Uh, in fact, if we click on this one, it should show us uh, for... Oh, this is part of the whole grid when this is locked down. Okay, I was kind of expecting it to be separate, but uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I shouldn't have expected it to be separate because a shaft valve and a smart battery are not a, uh, a transformer. The transformer is the point where, you know, it, it does it differently. Uh, so, yeah, no, this is good. This is good. This We are producing many powers. Um, we are... It doesn't actually tell us where... Uh, go to the energy. We are producing 4.9 and we're consuming 3.7. That's good. 3.7 is a good number to be uh, basing my, my drawer off of. That's, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, the temperature is definitely dropping down. I think I might want to even go for some sort of um, two temperature sensor memory latch in here. Because I feel like we don't turn on quick enough. And I feel like we don't turn off quick enough as well. Uh, which unfortunately means the two temperatures need to be in the different directions from where they are. But uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. We will figure that out. Are they about to try and drop a whole bunch of um, sand on top of my machines in here? This might be the case. This might very well be the case. Oh, Forrest is in on the analysis. Beautiful, beautiful. I feel like we're uh, leaking a lot of hydrogen, though. Let's have a look at this. Uh, hydrogen is erupting, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really tell us status. Here we go. Uh, it's currently emitting. All right, we need to get this this door right here. Uh, has a much higher priority. Forrest looks like he's going to get on it as soon as he can, but got much, much more pressing matters with the hydrogen vent. Also, hydrogen, what temperature does this come out of, that, by the way? It doesn't tell us the temperature. Ah, oh, there we go. 500 degrees C. What? Forrest is not complaining? Okay. I thought it was going to be Misalina Mad Frank, but no, Shroudskus coming along to finish off the uh, the oxygen line here. Beautiful, beautiful. Gotta wonder why the gas pipe and not all this uh, liquid pipe kicking about. I suppose it is all igneous rock as opposed to the sedimentary that we're making the gas lines out of. Oh, you are going to go run all the way around, aren't you, buddy? Uh, I think you are. I can't even click on you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's going up and across. It's a shame that he can't, like, build this one. It would have been much nicer to to do these jobs separately to save all this running distance because he's going to end up having to run back at some point. Even if he does this job first, there's still like an extra set of movement that just wasn't necessary, right? Oh god, he's not hes not even going back. Where, where are you going, buddy? Uh, tell me you're off cooking. No, you're putting power, your coal into the power supply. All right, fair enough. Oh, okay, we might have gone a little bit too far here. No big problem, no big problem. Okay, we're going to say if above eight there, that should shut the door. Uh, and we're going to go X and get rid of these. Okay, that's, that's no big problem. I don't mind having a little bit of liquid in here. Uh, and very soon this should bop up bu uh, one above where we're at. And then we can start killing killing these guys. Uh, and this wants to be if above one or something. Or is it below one? And then when it, there is one in there, uh, it turns into an off signal. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, let's get this uh, gas lock but no, no, no! Hopefully Mad Frank's coming back. Okay, cool. That's good because we can get him digging uh, building pretty quickly here. But ugh, end of days, really not uh, about it. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I'm always worried about the end of days. Uh, okay, so this should be just a nice and simple build. Build done. Uh, that should now keep the, the hydrogen pressure contained. Shouldn't let it all gas out. And that should be absolutely fine. I'm not sure if we're going to do anything with the hydrogen. I mean, literally, all I would do would be set up a bunch of hydrogen generators next to it and just be like, like power, 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 power. Uh, which might be a play. Might be a play. Maybe we'll just put all of them along here. And then we can use that to power all this lot. I mean, that would be cool, right? Hmm. Yeah, power would be cool. Look at this combined issue here. Is this not, not producing enough power? Oh, hey. What's going to happen over here? But is this not producing enough power to deal with it? Doesn't look like it actually is. That's a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame. Ah, uh, uh, cool. We have actually got water running through here, and it's not frozen. It's nearly frozen, but it's not frozen. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, we, we got some cold water in here somewhere. Thankfully, we're dropping down. It seems to be colder at this point of the pipe than it is down this way. Uh, so that's that's kind of good. That's kind of good. This could have got a lot worse a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, cool, cool. All right, so we've definitely filled up the oxygen on a few more of the atmospheric suits. So yeah, we are slowly but surely getting ahead of it. I just wish it was going a little bit further ahead of it, you know? It took nearly an entire cycle, but there's a conductive wire put into place. And this should now just charge this up. There's no real, like, power drain at the moment, is there? Yeah, no, we seem to be doing okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, the fact that those two are exactly the same right now, not amazing. 
Oh, wow, guys, this build has been slow. It's taken us most of three cycles just to get the uh, pipe down to here done. Uh, it's not as if they've even been coming through and doing the drywall. I don't, I don't even know what they've been doing, to be honest. They've just been going around and doing the things that need to be done to make the base work. It is just taking forever. Okay, over this side, we're almost ready to go. As I said last time, I have left this little bridge in the power system here because I want to fill this up with a little bit of water. If we have a look, we've got water coming in fresh from over this side, and that's going through uh, feeding the bathroom units over this side, and that is then building up in here after it gets clean. I should imagine the germ... Yeah, that's a pretty a pretty horrific thing. Okay, the other thing that we've got running over this side is I've noticed that a whole bunch of hydrogen was leaking out of the top. So I've put down a uh, hydrogen sensor here. I was going to say a not hydrogen sensor here, but no, it's not It's not true. It is just a hydrogen sensor. Uh, so when all this picks up hydrogen, this is going to start pumping out and putting it back into this place because it seems like the, uh, the whole heat distribution is a bit of a problem in there. And maybe at some point we'll actually get to turn this atmospheric suit back on. Okay, so we have hydrogen being detected, right? Is that detecting hydrogen? It should detect hydrogen, which then means we're pumping the hydrogen out of here down into this base. I'm a little bit worried that maybe we'll be pulling a vacuum up there, but no, looks like it is a fine. So I'm hoping that we're going to pump all of the hydrogen out of here, uh, pulling this oxygen up and in. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll also get this hydrogen here, but we will uh, see... Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, it's the material it's made out of. I was like, wait, 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 they're not radium. But yes, of course they are radium. Okay, I put the priority up of this particular line here. You can see these are all nine. So hopefully we're now going to be working on these for a little bit. I'm interested to see what happens when we get through this dig errand here and start dropping all the water down on top of us because uh, we're starting to, starting to run out down here and that would be great. No, always downtime. Always downtime. Oh no, when did the salt flow? Ah, oh, the salt water flowed. I didn't see it happening, but it must have happened because, look, we've got a whole bunch of water down here now. I was kind of hoping to get these tiles put into place before that actually happened, but, you know, the people are working. This whole line seems to have been done, so I'm going to go ahead and move this down here. And I've also, up at this point over here, made the oxygen generators. I feel like I can compact this one down a little bit more, but this was just the first one that I built trying to figure out the system, and then I put these ones in place afterwards. I definitely need to get a little bit of power... A heavy what wire, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll go with oxygen, uh, with iron, sorry, and we'll just quickly fill all these in like this. What was that little, uh, blip of power there? Did you guys see that? Yeah, that, when that happened, I presume it's actually a, uh, a re, uh, redrawing of the graph and nodes, I, I assume, you know, we'll, we'll just see how that happens. Okay, and that should then be, alright, oxygen all sorted for the base, eventually, some point, maybe. Big builds coming on from uh, Mimi and Forest here. Looking good, looking good. I was kind of hoping that actually Misalign and Mad Frank would do this because they are the ones with the highest build priorities, thus doing it much, much, much faster than anybody else. But it looks like, no, we're just going to wait. Oh, here's Misalign. I wonder where Mad Frank is. What are you doing, buddy? You are on the second on the list here. You are working on this side of the of the base. Okay, that that's fine. I suppose this did need tidying up and stuff like that. Uh, you're also taking the aluminium ore over here. And I don't think there's much to go on over here. I am thinking that at some point, why I want to do is send these for another loop past the weasel warts before they come across the bottom here just to make sure that they get down nice and chill because uh, chill doesn't seem to be happening all that much at the moment and this this getting down to a real low temperature would be very very handy in particular the water coming out of here as you can see is coming out of 80, 88 and 89 uh, that's actually cooler than I thought it was going to be coming out I was expecting like 90 something like that but you know this this works this works one thing I've been observing and find quite hilarious, not so much this morning because people have spread out their sleep pans a bit more, but all of these guys are going to be immediately running towards the bathroom, which I, I think is hilarious. They've got a bathroom down here, but they're like, no, 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 I, I don't think you understand. I wish to immerse myself in cool running water. If I could have a shower, please. This is the extravagance we're out of the world nowadays, where we take this vital, vital resource and throw it over our heads and then... Deal, deal with it down here, I suppose. My only hope is it leads to more people working on this setup over here as opposed to the drywall. But at least we're getting the pipe nicely done down this way. Uh, we've got it all the way down this little section here now. We just need to kind of come across and down and we will almost be there. Getting this little um, elbow joint done here is going to be very, very interesting. And trying to figure out what's going on with here. I'll tell you one thing, though. I feel like this gauss filter doesn't actually need to be here, though it also does. What we could do is take this output, go out and around and then filter through the hydrogen but of course there is a problem with that the problem being then this will then be a closed loop and if we ever end up with i don't know some carbon dioxide in the system there's no way for it to go out into the waste line over here so uh, yeah i'm not sure 
uh, exactly what to do about that. I do feel there is a bit of a wastage here, but I also feel like the wastage is actually prudent. Okay, all the iron ore stores that have built up down here definitely seem to be uh, coming into play right here. Everybody's just like, yeah, 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 I can get the wires in place, no problem. And indeed, away they go. In fact, I'm going to actually dig out the bottom of all of those, and then all our duplicates should be able to reach all a bits of wire that need to be done. Uh, getting these doors into place, probably actually going to be a little bit of a, um, a hardship when they actually all go down. I wasn't expecting me to do that first, but, you know, that's where we are, so this is the world we're going to live with. Uh, as soon as it actually does get put into place, I am going to, of course want to have it put into an open state no in fact this one we don't want to but as we are building i'm going to put this one into an open state for now uh we will of course close that we might want to have these three internal doors open uh but as it is i, I don't think so i don't think so okay i keep getting notifications that people are burning on this side so i'm gonna enable that building and let's see what happens here this should enable people to not get burnt on their way through we're not getting an awful lot of oxygen out of this this time i, I feel like we're spending more time cooling stuff down than we are actually producing tasty tasty oxygens but literally as i've said that i've noticed that this has turned over and now we're, we're getting the uh, the actual flow flowing through so may maybe this is actually working out and i'm just not aware so now, now that those are running we're waiting for enough oxygen to get produced i'm wondering whether these are going to over pressure before the oxygen actually does get produced uh this gets out the hydrogen gets thrown down here no big issue i feel like someone's working on the gas line somewhere given the way that that was stuttering uh but yeah and then we got start getting all of this out of here all right beautiful beautiful it's actually looking really good Wow, I cannot get over how fast this is going, given how long everything else took. These guys are just knocking this one out of the park. Oh, man, look at it. All the power wires are almost in place. Uh, Mad Frank, of course, going on making sure that that actually is the case. I think mostly that is due to the fact that the, um, as I said earlier, the uh, iron ore down here, we've got eight tons just sat there, and all that is being used in things like the power in the doors. Uh, I'm hoping in the gas pump wolf from my... Okay, that's interesting. Aluminium You know what? I'm going to quickly just uh, cancel all of these and uh, turn them to iron ore uh, because that should work out well for us. That should work out well, hopefully. Anyway, we'll find out as soon as I find the bit that I'm looking for. Gas pump, iron ore, beautiful. We'll put that in the wrong place, obviously, uh, but we'll go along and put all these down uh, and then we'll figure out whether that has uh, speeded up our build aim or not. I I I've got a feeling it very much has because now they're not moving anywhere near as far. Uh, down here, the rusty oxidizer. Yeah, once again, we can do the aluminium ore and that will work out really well. I said aluminium, I meant iron. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Ah, uh, look, Miss is doing also important work of coming and sort this gas line out. Good work, good work. Uh, I thought I was watching people go to the job site. Of course not. I was watching them go to the shower. Ah, hopefully though, as I have said yesterday, this will actually sort out the meaning. Uh, sorry. Let me do that again. Hopefully, as I said yesterday, this will mean that these guys actually are really close to the jobs that I want them to be doing, i.e. these oxygen jobs here. So that, that should work out for us, hopefully. Fingers crossed. If if things all work out well. Miss does like to take her time in the shower, though. Uh, I suppose I suppose that works out. All right, where is everybody going? We've got some people trying to do some phosphorite. That means they are going over to the uh, the weeds warts over here. I suppose that's cool. Oh, look, here we go. Decipher's also doing his work over here. Uh, empty pipe, empty pipe. That's not what I like to see. I suppose it's... It does mean that we are cooling this down and getting some serious power out of it, though. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all right. Oh, look, the hydrogen did go where, it, where I wanted it to. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, if only we could get all the gases out from down here now. Oh, 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 people making their deliveries to the rust oxidizer for the first time. Beautiful, beautiful. That means this is going to be ready to go. It needs a little bit of salt at some point, but that's fine, that's fine. Uh, it mainly means that all these systems are getting put into place, which I am over the moon about. I mean, technically, yeah, of course I'm over the moon. If we, uh, if we come up to the uh, to space here we should be able to see some moons floating past which means we are definitely up and over the top of them right okay as well as the oxygen system so let's uh, let's talk talk through this this is going to be picking up oxygen it's going to be pushing it through this filter that filter is going to get the oxygen out and into our atmospheric suits here now obviously we're going to have a bunch of other gases that come out of here um the most important one that we've got to deal with is this rusty oxidizer outputs a whole bunch of chlorine so i put a bunch of farm tiles up the top here we're going to send all of the out Output gases, all of the waste gases, up and through this filter. This filter will search for chlorine, which we will then pump into this place. And of course, the waste gases will go to the waste gas line. The chlorine, of course, will be feeding our salt plants, as we've got down here. But I've uh, got a little bit annoyed with all the, the chlorine that's down the bottom here. There's no need to have this much chlorine down the bottom because, uh, well, like these salt vines could 
we could put the farm tiles on this line and then have the salt vines dangling down into it. So that's what we're going to do here. One of the good things about this being hewed out of solid rock means that we've got a bunch of uh, sedimentary rocks just kind of lying around for all the pipes to be built. So that should uh, speed things up quite nicely. It also helps with the uh, tidying process because, of course, at some point we're going to have to try and sweep up the entire subject of all the floors around here. Oh, man, it, it, there's a lot of stuff. I haven't even looked at the decor overlay. Actually, you know what? We're not doing too bad despite all the uh, all the debris on the floor. And when we, like, pick all this up, it is going to be amazing. Of course, the whole time the dormitories have been being worked on, this uh, secondary gas line coming from the cold uh, oxygen down here has been getting built. We've got the vast majority of it actually built now. This is uh, looking pretty good, pretty good. want to get these last few pieces in place, mainly so that we can get Man Frank working up here, because that is pretty much all that we're waiting on for the, uh, for the great moving in. As soon as we can deal with the oxygen and the chlorine that comes out of that, we will be set to go. I have just realized we're in a horrific situation. So we've got this steam generator turning over and we've got the coal generators turning over. But that is it. This uh, natural gas guys are over here, dormant. And then the one that we've just been working on uh, down below here, of course, also dormant. Bit of a problem, but that'll be a problem for addressing next time because, of course, we need to get these duplicates into this dormitory today. Okay, this is the last piece of wire being put into place. That is beautiful. That should now mean that this filter is working. We are outputting a whole bunch of chlorine into here. Do we have access to any more? Oh, look at this. We've got loads of them. I would like those done. Uh, fine, thank you. Wow, so this should now mean that actually our entire system is set up and ready to go. I say that, definite issues with the pipes down this end of the base. All right, there it is. With that last piece of pipe in place, this means the oxygen system is set up for all of our atmospheric uh, atmospheric suit docks. Wow, it turns out that was a bit of a tongue twister. Wasn't even aware of it until I ran face first into it. All of these doors I have now gone set up uh, in the manner that I said uh, previously that we're going to let only certain duplicates through here so they would end up in the right area uh, everywhere and including also running them past the right set of atmospheric docks. Uh, check suits. You see, uh, Dr. Captain Substratus and Jelly are going to be roommates down the bottom. I thought they were the movers and shakers in the room going around and doing things. Uh, well, mainly Jelly being the big delivery guy. So he needs to go and do stuff like that. Shradkas and Subs, just our backs up, backups there. Uh, we've got Mimi, Mad Frank and Miss Aligned all living in this dormitory over here. And we've got Luna, Decipher and Cubic in this one. And Forrest is all on his own, which means he gets to put up with the new guys that are moving in. And indeed, a moving in day will be next time, guys. So I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time we're gonna move our duplicates in we're gonna try and figure out what's going on with the power situation i mean it's it's all right but we can definitely do more maybe use the petroleum down here as has been the plan for a very long time but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye